I'm Emily Drake and I'm a PhD and health student at Dalhousie University. My dream is to be an embedded researcher within one of the healthcare systems here in Nova Scotia. Emily's research is looking at uh, people that have cancer that are adolescents or young adults and the survival rates haven't really changed a lot for people in that age group when they have cancer. Uh, in the last 30 years there has been very little in the way of progress and improvement. That says to me that her, her research needs that investment, that infusion of funds so that people can take the time to understand what's actually going on. And so if Emily's work can analyze Nova Scotia young adults who are diagnosed with cancer and are dealing with so many emotions and she can understand ways that will help them, then I think that's a tremendous investment and a tremendous way to use the money that the Nova Scotia Health Research Foundation is giving to people like Emily. It's a wonderful way to carry on my mother's legacy and for me and my family to be able to see really smart, engaging young adults themselves working on either solutions or making people's lives better. I can't think of a better way to see my mom's name continue. Like Colleen, I firmly believe in the excellence of research being conducted here at home and I'm thankful for the support of the Nova Scotia Health Research Foundation and helping to make this happen. It was such an honor to receive an award named after another woman in science who's contributed so greatly to our healthcare system through her work and volunteerism. I think it was um, incredibly meaningful to receive this award from Brendan, from Colleen's son. For his mother's legacy, the support he's giving to young researcher means so much to us. And it's incredibly validating that someone sees a promise in you, a promise in the research that you're conducting here in Nova Scotia, and that that's supported by the Nova Scotia Health Research Foundation. So I brought with me something today that's pretty special. It's something that I haven't had uh, the right time to open. It's, a, it's a, an envelope that was given to me by Krista. So this, is, uh, this is really special to me, to be able to look at that from time to time and know how meaningful it was that an organization that she volunteered for is celebrating her in such a special way.